This is another camera test. We're taking out the Oppo Reno 6 5G and we're testing it against the social media apps you use most. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isidus Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. And what a wonderful day to do a camera vlog test. So we're doing just that. For those of you who are new to the channel, I usually do these videos so that you can see for yourself just how these smartphone cameras perform in everyday real life scenarios. Just a quick recap. That is a three cam setup on the back with a 64 megapixel main camera, an eight megapixel wide, and a two megapixel macro camera. There's also the 32 megapixel selfie shooter up front in that punch hole. And if you're still confused about which Reno this is because there are a couple, this is the one with the new flat sides. Yes, reminiscent of that flat iPhone. And if you want more info on this particular device, I have a whole unboxing video and camera tour. I'll link it up here and down below. Aside from this new interesting familiar form factor, what does this phone have to offer in terms of cameras? First up, we do the social media test where we use the Oppo Reno 6 5G and post on social media and see how the posts look. How this is gonna go, I'll post with this and I have an iPhone and another Android phone. This is a Zenfone 8 Flip and we're gonna look at what the stories or posts look like via these phones as well. via the Instagram app with the Oppo Reno 6 5G. Now this, smile. <laughs> this is being shot with the rear cameras. I'm so distracted. The rear cameras of the phone. I'm on the wheel camera. This time around, I'm shooting. <laughs> This is now the camera app of the phone and yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is a TikTok test. I am shooting with the Oppo Reno 6 5G and this is what that looks like. This mirror is a little dirty but you guys get the idea. Say hi! <laughs> Another really cool social media option are Soloop templates. So Soloop is actually an Oppo app, as you can see here, and it's a free editing app. In the camera app itself, you get the option to create videos via different templates. There's even music on here. Let's say I pick that template. It shows me how many clips I need. So as you can see, I just picked two random clips from my camera roll and then it automatically makes it into an edited video and once everything's done you can share directly to your social media apps now i will say that these are pretty fun but they don't always come out perfectly like i had a clip that always came out stretched for some reason but these can be really great looking social media posts as for actual IG posts, well, my feed is proof that this phone can get capable shots. First order of business was exercise, which was a perfect opportunity for fresh-faced selfie videos. Now, you can shoot in 1080p on the front-facing camera, and there are live beauty modes and even bokeh effects, both of which you can shoot in 1080p as well, which is a great thing because it doesn't downsize. However, for some reason, it seems like you can't shoot the beauty mode and the bokeh at the same time because then it downsizes to 720p. Bokeh mode can look good when it works, but it fails to do so when it doesn't recognize the face in the video. But the thing is, I always say that no bokeh mode is perfect and that this phone is doing it on video is in itself a bigger deal. HDR also does make a difference as you can see here and there's stabilization on the front facing camera. <laughs> So at least for running like I just did, I don't think the steady mode really matters as much. This is without the steady mode. This is with the steady mode now and I feel like it's for scenarios like this where you walk and talk that that steady mode 
really kicks in. Moving on to the rear cameras. In photos, this thing can do wide 1x, 2x, up until 20x. These aren't the best zooms we've seen on a phone, neither is it the worst. Then again, this is after all a mid-range device. 2x looks okay, 10x is a little blurry, and 20x sort of looks like an oil painting. Though again, on a mid-range device, this doesn't really bother me much. I frowned at the crazy level of detail in creeper zooms on smartphones are impressive technically, but not really very useful in my everyday life. The slow-mo situation, great for capturing action shots, maxes out at 960 FPS, although that 960 FPS does downgrade to 720p. That's still good enough for social media posts, though I would rather just do 480 FPS and get 1080p footage. I tried out the cameras before running out that day and though this camera can do wide up until 10x on videos, the true star of the show will always be that main camera at 1x. Hello, welcome. We are in the car because we're gonna be running some errands. But also, this is gonna be the vlog test part of this video, and we're shooting with the selfie cameras, of course, of the Oppo Reno 6 Pro. No, Oppo Reno 6. There's a pro that he has a video on. I don't. Maybe we'll try that later, but this Oppo Reno 6 5G, and I am. <laughs> Just gonna take a lot of photos on this run. Which was the driver for today? Today. Always. Yeah. How much you're hearing are the ACs because it's extremely hot, but also this is the bokeh mode. Really nice on portrait. This is adjustable too. You can't do wide on bokeh, but you can zoom in up until 10x. Ooh. And back to 1x. Okay, so this is wide now 1080p 30 fps, which is the default. Thing is, you can only do 720p on portrait mode with wait, portrait mode video. You can only do it in 720p, which is good for like social media, but not really like vlogs anymore, huh? This looks good too, and this isn't even steady mode. HDR is working well, I think. Mm. By the way, this is 60 FPS, 1080p, and you have a wide option. 1x up until... Ooh. 10x. <laughs> okay, cram down the AC so you can hear better, but... You guys know that I usually do the whole sample videos in my backyard, but now Joshua is our subject. Thank you! <laughs> and now we're shooting in 4K. I'm not exporting this video in 4K, but at least you can see how like these cameras treats, treat the different resolutions. There's no wide on here, but there's Joshua and that is enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it works on the front, yeah. It works on the front, no, but it says that for optimal effects, there should only be one person, but it's working on two people right now. So I guess it's just saying like manage expectations. <laughs> I really, ah. liked, I really liked that the bug flare worked on the front. Yeah, agreed. Walking and talking now. We are at H Mart. Oh, this is steady mode. It's pretty steady. But we are at H Mart because we're having some people over. Technically, Josh was having people over. And we're yeah, gonna have. You. Yeah. Technically, I'm over. And and what are we gonna have? Korean? Barbecue? 
Korean barbecue, what does that entail? Uh, we have a grill that is actually smokeless that you can use indoors. So we're just going to get the pre-cut meats and recreate the Korean barbecue experience in our own kitchen. Okay. Or at our own dining table. Okay, cinematic B-roll in the grocery time. <laughs> okay, again, this is steady mode now. Walking and talking. It's a shame you can't do uh, steady mode on wide, but this is what we're looking at right now. Tread horse. Yeah. Um, do you know what that is? I do. I had it with you. No message. No message. What a cutie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. No, use the cutie apparently. No. <laughs> Somehow we create. So good. So obviously we are not in the best lit area right now we're in a studio but i had joshua turn off all the lights because we're trying out bokeh flare on video which is supposed to make this type of background look real nice so this is first hand how it looks but another thing is that oppo is saying that if you turn on ai video in low lit scenarios like this one it'll look better so this is a sample clip of it turned off and now we've turned it on so how does this look ah uh? Okay, some more sample shots of the bokeh flare. This time around, portrait mode with the rear cameras. The Oppo Reno 6 5G is one of the lower priced phones in this year's Reno line. Despite this, I think it took good photos. Performance is pretty much what you'd expect from a mid-range device, so if you were a normal, regular user, I feel like this would be an okay phone to use. Where it shines would be the many different camera features because when used well, it can come up with pretty good shots. All that said though, I'm now even more excited to check out the Reno 6 Pro 5G which supposedly has better cameras and well, all these fun features. And that was our social media test, camera vlog test of the Oppo Reno 6 5G. Let me know what you guys think about the camera performance of this phone. If you have more questions, let me know in the comment section below. Personally, I am loving the many different features Oppo has been adding to their phones for users like me who love posting on social media and updating everyone with just random snaps and things and cute little videos. This is a very capable phone for that. Right, that's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.